when you first get Python you want to check that it works and maybe see what it does when you enter things you can do that in what's called the interactive prompt the IDLE you're watching the Python coder best way to see how the IDLE works is just to see it so let's have a look we can find it under your programs and Python and you'll see the IDLE and your Python version so it comes up with this window now you see this line that flashes that's where you can enter something so we can enter 1 and Python comes back with 1 we can enter 10 it comes back with 10 we enter 100 comes back with 100 now we put hello in it comes back with this red text which is an error message so it says basically that that's wrong we didn't like it so every time we type something we can see what Python does after so if you've got text it's called a string you need to put them in single or double quotes so here we put hello in double quotes or single quotes and then it will print hello try different numbers minus one yep that works 1.5 yep just prints that so we can try different things see what Python does how about some maths 2 plus 2 yep 4 2 minus 2 yep 0 2 divide by 2 1 yep 2 times by 2 4 yep so we can do these are called operators what's that 2 star star 2 what do you think that does yeah well 2 star star 3 8 2 star star 4 is 16 yes so it's to the power of so 2 squared 2 cubed and 2 to the power of 4 that's correct so we can use numbers as characters in strings as well so here's a 1 it's a string it's not a number so 1 times 10 is 10 fair enough now the string the character the digit 1 and we want to times that by 10 times now that prints 1 10 times can you see the difference so 1's an integer and 1's a string 1 plus 10 is 11 fine what happens if we add a number to a string what do you think happens error message it doesn't like it you can't concatenate a string what does that mean not with an integer so if you put two strings together it's called concatenation okay so these are called types the first number one is called an integer that's the type of integer int so the string we can see class str stands for string and if we look at another single quotes it's still a string what about something like uh, 1.5 it's not an integer is it that's called a floating point number or shortened to float so we have int for integer str for string and float for floating point these are types and you can put type and whatever you're looking at in the brackets and it'll tell you what type it is so here we can add two strings with the character one and a one zero gives us one one zero that's called concatenation remember if you're going to add some text together you might need a space between the words so here we have hello and world and we have the space after the O so we can we don't add strings it's technically called concatenation but you understand what it is so let's try some strange situations how about when someone says something so we've got he said hello yeah that prints it although hello is in double quotes we use the single quotes and that works so what happens if we use the double quotes inside the double quotes ah oh, that doesn't like it so if we're going to use double quotes then we have to make sure we use the single quotes for the whole string 
So what about single quotes? So I can't has a single quote inside it, can't use it. That gives us an error. So if we want to use a single quote, we have to make sure the string has double quotes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, I keep saying it prints something. Well, if you want to print something to the screen, you can use the word print. Be careful, you can see here that if I make a slight mistake, it will give me an error message. If you want to print something, you put it in brackets. So we have the string, single or double quotes, put that in brackets, and use the word print. Do you notice that the word print is in uh, a different color to the word hello in the string and when it's and the output. So you can see the different colors are different things. Okay, what about if we ask the Python for help? Oh, so we have this help system if you want to try these things. Let's have a look what it's got. Oh, keywords. What does it mean by keywords? Here is a list of the Python keywords. Enter any keyword to get more help. Okay, so these are special words that have meanings in Python. So you can have a look at these, and if you want to use help, then you can put them in and see what it says. But the idea is that these words mean something in Python. So if you see if or not or is or for, that does something special. Once we finish, we can close the window. So say goodbye, doesn't work. What about exit? Okay, so it tells us to use exit in the brackets. Okay, we can close the window. Do you want to kill it? It means to finish completely. There we go, all finished. So I want you to print the following in the idle window. We start off quite simple, seven multiplied by three. How can you find out what type 21 is? Seven to the power of three, can you remember how to do that? Seven cubed. How about seven and three tenths? And what type is that? Okay, how about 7.3 and I want to see that five times. So 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3. So can you print those two words, the and end? Now do the same but with the word end in double quotes. So print the end the word end in double quotes. I change that so it's a print statement. Okay and finally can you close the window? So how did you do on them? Should we go through the answers? Seven times three it's seven star three, seven asterisk three means seven times three. And the type, well you just put type with whatever you want in brackets. So type 21, which is an int, put type 21 in brackets. To the power of seven star star three, seven and three tenths or seven point three. And what type is seven point three? It's a float. Okay, what about the string? 7.3 okay so if we wanted to print that or we first of all we'll have a look what type is that so that's a string str and if we want to see that five times how would we do that 7.3 times by 5 the string times by 5 so that gives us 7.3 doesn't look very good so we might want to put a space in there so we could just do the same but leave a space after the three and that will look better the end 
is just simple in quotes, single or double. Now we wanted to do the same but with the word end in double quotes which means we need to make sure it's single quotes for the end. Put that in a print statement so we use the word print and brackets with the uh, string inside the brackets yeah so here we have the end in double quotes inside single quotes <laughs> inside the brackets in the print statement and finally how do we close it oh if we use the word close it doesn't work can you remember exit nearly there exit in brackets do you want to kill it we want to finish yes okay how did you do i hope you did good just a reminder of some new words that we've looked at here's some terms we start off with the types we had the numbers integers which are one two a hundred million minus one numbers without a fraction or a decimal place the numbers with a fraction like 1.5 10.7 a half these are called floating point numbers and in python we had the word float any text any inter uh, any digits or characters these are called strings so these are all types of data all types when we write the code we call that a statement and if it uses the word print it's a print statement and finally if we add two numbers together it's called addition in python if you add two strings together it's called concatenation okay thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and if you haven't already please subscribe Bye for now.